Alright guys, welcome to today's video. I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title. Today we're going to be going over how to install modded maps for those that are on Kino and be able to utilize those maps. I've been having a lot of people come to my Twitch channels recently as well as DM me trying to find certain modded maps as well as wondering how exactly do they work. So today I'm going to try my best to walk you guys through how to install and download those maps. So firstly, what you're gonna wanna do, I will have a link to all the map discords in the description of this video. So if there's any map that you don't have that you want to download, the link to the discord that the map is in will be in the description of this video. Please do keep in mind because I know some people will probably skip seeing what it maps and not paying attention to the whole video. Please listen. This is only for PC at the moment and for those that have Kino. I'm pretty sure the rest of you guys will know how to download Steam Workshop maps. This is only for those that are new to Kino and don't exactly know how to download and use modded maps on Kino. This video is for you guys. Please do keep that in mind. You know, I don't want any confusion in the comment section below. But hopping straight into it. Firstly, you're going to want to make sure you're in the right Discord. So the two main discords that I got my maps from that I run on channel being a competition oriented channel is VDS virtual drift series and JFF just for fun those are the two discords that I mainly get my maps from so VDS will give you Atlanta English Town Photopolis Arendelle Long Beach Miami and Riga and if you go over to JFF the maps will give you different maps like Mondello um and red ring and just different maps like that sorry i was looking at the maps it will give you a few different maps that are also comp oriented and i personally love jff maps in terms of you have certain maps that have lightning and stuff on it so you can actually do like let's say makeshift nighttime battles and stuff like that the tracks have lightning i believe you can on most tracks take off the skid marks there is a way if you read through the files and stuff there's a way to take off the skid marks and just different things like that on the channels um and within this discord channel as well as one of my personal favorites you have um fd utah this is the old utah layout so do keep that in mind some of the maps are not up to date but you're going to want to join one of these discords and download the maps that you want i will show you with the vds discord now if you're new to the vds discord and you have not done this yet and you're looking for the modded maps please click on the unlock vds maps section right here and make sure you react to this message. If you do not react to this message, the VDS map mod section will not be available to you. You need to react to this message so they can keep track of who has the maps downloaded, okay? So once you react to this message, the VDS map mod section will become available. And even though I already have them downloaded for the purpose of this video, I'm going to re-download these but i'm not going to move them into my files folder but you're going to want to click download on this click continue download and it will bring up the vds mod section i'll move this over here so you guys can see it's currently downloading the zip file for the vds maps pretty much like that download it might take a minute i do run on a bit of an older pc so while that's downloading we're gonna go and open up steam and her for those that don't know where the files are, you're going to want to go to your library. Again, older PC might take a minute here. There we go. Go to your library. Go to car acts. Of course, make sure you're on multiple. And you're going to want to right click on your game and go to properties. Now, when you come into properties, look down for installed files and click on browse. Now, once you click on Browse, this should take you to your in essential files. And here we go. Again, I do apologize for how long this is taking at times because of my older PC. But here, it will take you to your car axe files folder. Now, I'm going to hope if you're looking at this video, you already have Kino installed. If you don't have Kino installed and you need a video on that, let me know because these 
three videos that I'm going to be doing over the course of this week are pretty much under the assumption that you already have Kino installed. And now that I'm thinking of it, I probably should have just done a video on that first. But anyways, I have my Kino installed through ZML. So I want to make sure I know where my ZML folder is. But if you want, now that you know your files are, just minimize that window. I'm going to X out of this because I don't need it and to save memory on my PC. Now let's open up my internet browser. My internet browser is showing that the file was downloaded. Perfect. So I'm going to go to my downloads and here you will see the VDS 2022 maps. Now you will want to have a um, zip file program so you can unzip this file because this is a zipped up file. I already have one downloaded. So as you can see here, I double click on that and it opens up the file for me. Now you're going to want to take these maps and put them into your files. So we'll get to that now. So I'm going to minimize that so I know where my files are. Minimize this as well. Now you're going to want to go back to your files. So like I said, for me, I have Kino downloaded through the ZML bundle. So I'll go into ZML go into mods and then I'll go into Kino more base and here you will locate your maps folder and as you can see I have a bunch of maps already in here including most of the VDS maps as you can see and all you're going to want to do after that is open up your files whether you have moved these to your download or just have moved them to your PC screen and move these into your file section now like i said i'm not going to do that because i already have them installed and i do not want to mess around with my maps but pretty much it's that straightforward once you have your maps downloaded in the maps folder you can go ahead and close these things out i'm going to boot up car x for you guys which will probably take a minute and i'll show you guys how you can access these maps now i will show you how to open them in training room if you want to do it by yourself and i will show you guys how to open up a modded map lobby for those that want to play with friends but give it a minute and i'll probably put on some music in the background while we wait for my struggling pc to not open car acts i have no idea how i stream this days but we somehow managed to make it work but yeah i'll be right back when the game opens up i'm sorry about that unfortunately the game crashed twice while trying to open it so i just cut out that segment and we're going to continue with the video here. So firstly, like I said in the first part, I'm going to show you guys how to open up Kino maps in single player first. And then I'll show you guys how to open them up in multiplayer. So for single player, you're going to want to come to training. You know, make sure you click on training. Pick whatever map I personally would recommend. Park in A. Open up the map and you're going to want to load the Kino map on top of it. So I will show you guys how to do that real quick. And then I'll show you guys how to open up a multiplayer room. So, once my car and everything loads in, so I'm not messing around too, too much. Alright, so, when a single player room, you're going to want to hit your F4 key or whatever you have your Kino menu button keybind to. Go over to maps and here you will be able to see the map you just moved in your files. Pick one and load it up. So, let's say we want to go to Long Beach for an example. Long Beach is a map I personally play a lot. So let's click on Long Beach and we're going to load it up. And there you go. Now we are officially in Long Beach. You go ahead, close your Kino menu, and you can go pretty much do single player stuff for those that don't want to play with people, or want to just practice and get bad at different maps. Go ahead, practice on the modded maps using this method. Play by yourself. You ain't got to worry about people loading in, bugging you. And it's just a fun way to kill some time when maybe your friends ain't going or you, like I said, you just want to get better. Go ahead, do it that way before you go hop into a modded map lobby. And then you actually run with people. It's nothing worse than trying to learn while you're in the lobby with people trying to do 
battles and stuff, it gets a bit chaotic. But for those that have had your practice, you know the maps, you just want to drive on them. You go over to multiplayer now, you click on room list, you click on create, and then from her, you would go down to room type and put it on either Kino or Kino Protected. I personally would recommend Kino Protected, but I believe if you leave it on Kino, you can still invite people through Discord. And then you do the same thing for whatever you want your room set up, whether you want it on 90s or 100, I personally say 100. And again, choose a small map. I personally would recommend once again, just putting it on, let's get over to it, <laughs> parking in. Hit create again, make sure it's on Kino or Kino Protected, hit create. And from there, you will load into the Dini Tamer and you can open up the map once again on Kino Protected. Now with this method, as long as your friend has the map downloaded it as well, you will both load onto the same map. But you have to be in a, in a Kino room. If you're in a vanilla room, the game will not allow you to open up a modded map. It's pretty much a built-in restriction. If you're on vanilla, you cannot open up a modded map on top of that. That's for console players, of course. So let's go open up Atlanta, for example, now. Find Atlanta. And now, if I was to go message a few of my friends and be like, hey, I'm on Atlanta, they can come hop in and drive on Atlanta with me. So, there you guys go. Pretty much everything you need to know to download the modded maps. If you guys get lost throughout the process or you need me to help you guys a bit more, feel free to DM me. I am always available to help people. And if it just happens to be a day I'm extremely busy and I can't get to you, I am sure one of the mods in my Discord will be able to help you as well. Now, I will link all the Discords that I get tracked from in the description below for you guys to use and download maps and download them at your pleasure you know if you're, you're a comp driver definitely check out vds and gff if you're someone that likes more turk style tracks definitely look through the kino discord as well as i think it's a few others that have like more turk style tracks and different things like that and guys be sure if you haven't to drop a like and subscribe to the channel i will probably make a longer video in the future mashing everything together but do look out for the new video tomorrow that will drop teaching you guys how to install custom objects. I'll pretty much teach you guys how to install my full interior build as well as the exterior stuff through Kino. Huge shout out to Lost Forms. He'll get another shout out in tomorrow's video as well for bringing in the exterior stuff like the LED lights, the roof LEDs, as well as the see-through trunk vents and trunk. Huge shout out to him for bringing that stuff in. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope to see you guys shred on a couple of modded maps. And let me know in the description if you guys need anything else from me. I really do hope this video helped you guys. And I will catch all you guys in the next video or live stream. With that being said, guys, stay safe, stay sideways, and enjoy your week.